Hey friends, today me and the famous Aunt Penny are checking out the Highway 11 yard sale. It goes all the way from Mississippi to North Carolina, but today we're checking out Central Alabama for some awesome junk. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's me and the famous Hello. Aunt Penny. Today we are going on the Highway 11 yard sale and we've been driving for about an hour and 45 minutes and we just came up on our first yard sale of the day. We were about to turn around and go home and eat Jack's and go to sleep. <laughs> but we're about to get out and have some fun and see what we can find. So this is actually the first time I have been on this yard sale. I absolutely love yard sales and it is a great way to find some really good pieces for a really good price. Um, we thought we had struck out for a minute because there was absolutely nothing through Trustful and we drove for about an hour and then we finally hit lots of fun yard sales. They were scattered all up and down Highway 11 on both sides of the road. So we packed our fanny packs full of ones and went out on an adventure and y'all, it was so much fun. How you thinking, Penny? Oh, I'm thinking I'm, I'm looking. I ain't got time to think, I'm looking. We found some. We stopped at a thrift store and we found a good bit. And we've also found a few good deals, but we ain't hit the mother loads yet. Penny's found a good deal. This was one of my favorite stops because this lady had a ton of really cool vintage items for a very, very reasonable price. And we just really enjoyed looking through all her stuff. We both purchased things from her, which you'll see later in our haul, but she just had an amazing collection. And she said this was just a little taste and she actually sets up at Tannehill. So if you're local, make sure you go check her out. We come through Trustful and they didn't have Jack Diddley. Not a ding dong yard sale. Except for when we tried to find and we about got lost. Never found it. Um, Springville didn't have anything and we made it to Atala, Alabama and we found several and we've got a few things so far. But now we're about to go into a couple of little antique malls. So let's go see what we can find. Yard antiques over there, collectibles and antiques. So, the first store we took a look around in was called Emma Kate's. It was a booth store, and every single booth, y'all, was absolutely beautiful. We had a ton of inspiration when we left and everybody that worked there was so sweet. They were having an open house and they welcomed all of the yard sale patrons in. They were giving out food and tea and lemonade and it was just so much fun. So if you're ever in the area, make sure you stop in because I'm sure you will find at least one, if not many beautiful items to go home with you.
This particular booth is actually Crossroads. They have a full-time booth here and at Trustful Antiques and Interiors, and they're really good friends of Michelle with House of Five. We met them up at Mitchell Market, and we fell in love with their displays and all of their items. Y'all, make sure you stop by and support them at their two locations because, guys, they are the queens of junkin'. The next little store we checked out was called Vintage 426, and it was absolutely adorable as well. We did see a familiar booth called The Lovely Goat, who we met up at Mitchell Market. They were there with Michelle and Crossroads, and y'all, their booth is absolutely adorable, but this little store was so sweet and packed to the brim with vintage goodies. We found lots of really cute Americana decor, and you know we're some patriotic girls, so we had to buy a few things. We also wanted to share some clips of downtown Atala because it was the sweetest little place. It had like five different vintage stores, y'all, so make sure you stop by if you're near there and just go in and support these small businesses. Let's keep their doors open and show them all the love. and get some popsicles. This really adorable setup actually belonged to our friend who is the owner and curator of the Cozy Nest. And she has her own vintage event called the Rustic Bucket Vintage Market. And it's held in Oneonta, Alabama. That's a little ways down from where we were today. But y'all, it is so fun. And we actually met our friend Michelle there last fall. And we just love her. And we are so looking forward to going back to the Rustic Bucket. And hopefully one day I might even get to be a vendor there. So that is something that we're gonna hopefully start planning towards in the future. But make sure you go by and check out her event as well. Well, I've been saying for two years that I'm gonna come to the Rusty Pearl, and I finally have made it. We couldn't end our day of junkin' without stopping in to see Ashley Buchanan, who owns the Rusty Pearl. She's located in Vincent, Alabama, and I have been trying to get in to see her for like a year, and something always happens, but today was the day, and y'all, I absolutely loved her store. Her prices are just absolutely wonderful, and she is the sweetest lady. So if you're ever in the area, please stop by and see her and support her. 
She has an entire house filled with awesome vintage goodies. And like I said, y'all, her prices are amazing and she is the sweetest, sweetest lady. So make sure you stop in and support her and show her some love and go follow her over on Facebook. <laughs> we have to get all this stuff out now. There's no way to get anything else in here. Maybe. We're going to try. <laughs> we have finally made it home. And y'all, it, it's, it's, it's smacked. It is plum full. Ugh, I'm so tired. I can't even talk. It is plum full. And we'll go through and show y'all what all we got. We are home. And this is Penny and Baba Ruby Sue. And this is Lola. Alright, Penny. Show them what you bought. Let's see. We went to the thrift store. I got me some white Bibles to start like Kayla. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Her husband's judging us from afar trying to see how much money we spent. I got me a pot off. A little cute brass watering can. Uh, some more terracotta. I have a. <laughs> but it's so sweet. I wanted this and she got it for me. Oh, it's so pretty. And then she got this set of three. This is a front of a bicycle and the two saddlebags of the bicycle to go on a vintage bicycle that was her mother-in-law's. This plan. <laughs> Tear into it. Yes, that's so pretty. Yes. Then we got all these terracotta pots and some old books. Got a few little, like a little milk glass. Cute. Got a creamer and sugar. It's really pretty. And we love the green handled stuff. Got oh, a and yes, cute that's so little, cute. I thought that'd be cute for Fourth of July. And that is that is just um, some um, Homer Laughlin and some spindles. This is a little Homer Laughlin she got for a quarter, wasn't it, or fifty cents? I think so. Oh, I love this. I hadn't, we hadn't seen one like this. It even says holiday. That is so good. And how much was that? Five dollars. And this is our favorite thing we got. We both got a number four. Super duper cute for Fourth of July. And then these oh, are precious. Spindles. Thread spindles. So cute. And then, of course, we had to hit up a couple of thrift stores. And I got another type of vintage basket. That's so cute, though. I forgot almost to mention that Penny's already went yesterday. This was my biggest piece. I got this from Emory Mercantile at um, Southern Emporium. Is that what it's called? Yes, yeah, Southern right. Emporium. I got that from her yesterday. Oh, I got a this yesterday. We'll put some flowers in it. This is the tins. <laughs> Her husband I would be used for this. Those are so cute. I thought they'd be so cute. A 
set of three of those. Uh, scoop. And, oh, this is my plan. I got some more planners. I guess we'll call them, it's a planter. A planter. Oh, that's so cute. Shawnee. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I love those. Those too. Well, you did really good. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is what she's been wanting a wood toolbox. Yes, I finally got that. Oh, this little bitty tiny ice cream freezer. And we got both got one of these. This is an old turpentine yes. uh, pot. Two other really pretty uh, thermoses. thermoses. And a really pretty restaurant ware. Thank you, Ruby Sue. And a silver piece. And that's, that's it. That's all I... That's so pretty. Did you have fun at least? Yes, but I'm tired. Now I'm going to share a quick haul with y'all of what I got. So, me and Penny both got one of these number fours for the 4th of July. You know we love um, patriotic summer decor. These were $10 a piece. I've also got two bags full of white dishes, cups, and bowls that Aunt Penny gave me, stoneware. Penny didn't actually show hers because they're in her purse. Oh, that's right. I forgot about those. But we both got a set of these cute little mice. They're little brass mice. We thought they'd be really cute on a book. They were $2. And then I got this really cute little Tweety Bird for a dollar. I got a brush for a dollar to use to display photos or flashcards. I also got this really pretty um, tote. It's like a small, looks like a cosmetic cosmetic tote, tote or something. Um, I got it for eighteen dollars. It was probably the most expensive thing I bought, but I did not buy it on the yard sale. I actually bought it at one of the little vintage shops in a tala. In a tala, and it was super cute. And I loved how we ended up styling the other one. Um, so I think I'm going to open this one up and put some terracotta pots and some greenery coming out of it somewhere in the house. That will be super cute. Penny's been our camera woman, and then I got some really cute. Um, books. This one's called The Wedded Life. Children and Praise, number one. And then this one is another um, old hymnal book. We got another Jesus jar. And then, like pennies, I got this one. It's from the Saturday Evening Post. Um, and this one is of a woman that looks like she is working and carrying all the loads of home while her husband is away. Then I got this really cute little child's chair for $5. It is really, really cute. And then I got an old turpentine um, container. What was it? I guess what's Turpentine that? pot. Turpentine. What, what, I don't even know. What was turpentine, Penny? Uh, it was like, I think what they used to, I don't know, it's what daddy used to use to clean like paint brushes when you had, okay. had an oil base paint. <laughs> we, it right. was really cute. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just really cute. So we're going to put a flower in there. We're going to use it like it's a flower pot. And then all of these are flannels because I'm going to be making some new flannels for the Etsy shop. Um, I also got this really cute Clabber Girl baking powder. It was only $10. Thought it was a really she, cute. I thought she kept her a little bit less. It was marked for twelve. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I think that'll be really cute in our kitchen. I also got, if you want to come in here and point, Penny. <laughs> I also got a box of terracotta pots. 
I also got this big blue um, wagon. wagon and it's actually red, white, and blue. So it's super cute for the summer. And then this is just a really small little wicker table that we're gonna put on the back porch that you'll see in our spring home tour that's coming up in the next week or so. You got some more books and some other stuff. Yes, yes, I gotta get there and get to them. Y'all, we kinda didn't realize how much we got. Yes. I was hoping that Till once I got all Penny's <laughs> crap out of the car that it would look like I got very minimalistic stuff because my husband is going to die. And the mosquitoes that snake burn out of them, I'm getting towed up. Yes, we have. They're terrible here. I'm getting towed up by the no -seums. Oh, and I also got these cute little garden tools. I'm gonna put them inside a terracotta pot with the um, tool part sticking out. I got these really cute. The mosquitoes are trying to eat my forehead. <laughs> and they're awful, I'm sorry. I got these really cute little thermoses for a dollar a piece. And then I got this egg basket. And I also got another cute egg basket like this from the Rusty Pearl. And also from the Rusty Pearl, um, I got this wagon. So those were both the things that I got from there. And then I got this sweet little, a child's garden of verses. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I got this for $3. But that's all of my haul. I hope you guys enjoy following us around y'all so much for tuning in and for always showing us support we love y'all so much we had the best time and y'all i love and cherish my aunt penny so much she's like a second mother to me and she'll never know what her love and support means to me i hope y'all enjoyed our video i love y'all y'all be blessed god is so good and his wonderful love is never ending I'll be praying for y'all, and I'll be thinking of y'all. And yes, I even found a vintage bedpan. I didn't bring it home with me, but Penny said we could stick a flower in it. <laughs> Have a wonderful week. Be blessed, and see y'all next time.